हे हैव यू एवर वांडर हाउ कैन यू बिल्ड आई स्मार्ट क्लॉक डेट कैन सो एग्जैक्ट टाइम एनी वेयर इन द वर्ल्ड एंड इवन विदाउट यूजिंग द इंटरनेट वाईफाई और एनी सेपरेट आर टी सी मॉड्यूल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ आई बिल्ड दिस स्मार्ट क्लॉक डेट इज सेटेलाइट बेस्ट क्लॉक विच शोज द एग्जैक्ट टाइम डेट एनी वेयर इन द वर्ल्ड विदाउट यूजिंग द एनी काइंड ऑफ इंटरनेट वाई फाई और एनी सेपरेट आर टी सी मॉड्यूल एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन स्विच बिटवीन द डिफरेंट टाइम जोन either you can see the time zone in IST that is Indian Standard Time, European Standard Time, literally any time zone in the world. Uh, in this project, I am using GP02 module which will connect it to the satellite and we will get the date time in UTC uh, from the satellite and we will display all the details that is date time number of satellite that are connected with the GP02 module in the OLED display. The best part of this clock is that this clock is universal. That means you can use this clock anywhere in the world uh, without relying on the internet Wi-Fi. So this clock doesn't require to set the different time zones. This clock directly gets data from the satellite and display on the OLED display. So if you are frequent traveler which travel in the mountains or any remote area, so this project is very useful for you. And also if you meet people from different time zones, you can use this project even there. and in this clock you will get a button and by pressing that button you can switch between the different time zones like IST BST NFT that is Nepal time zone European standard time zone and similarly you can switch between different time zones and in this video i will explain code connection diagram and i will also show the demonstration of this project so let's get into this video before we move on let me tell you about a fantastic tool that has made my pcb design process so much more efficient ltm365 LTM365 is the first open electronic hardware development platform that fosters a secure and collaborative design environment. Whether you are working alone or with a team, LTM365 ensures everyone is on the same page. Key benefits of LTM365 is data management. Store all your design data securely in one place with robust version control, ensuring everyone works with the latest file. Library management. Access millions of ready to use parts with up to date supply chain data, making informed design decision easier. supply chain management integrated bom management with real time data on parts availability and pricing helps streamline your production cycles collaboration enable seamless collaboration with your team and manufacturers reducing errors and speeding up the design process and the best part is if you click my link provided in the description of this video you will not only get access to the free trial version but you can also get flat 25% off on all the license purchase So do check out the link provided in the description and now let's move ahead with our video. Uh this is the code for our today's satellite clock project. Uh let me explain this code for you. Uh here I have included some necessary libraries. Uh first one wire.h which is used for the I2C communication and this tiny GPS plus which is used for uh, encoding the GPS data and these two libraries that is adafruit_gfx and adafruit_sh110. These two libraries are used for the display OLED display. and this hardware serial .h uh, this is used for the using the extra pins of the esp32 for uart communication and here we define the display parameters like uh, here we define the address for the display width of the display height of the display and this is used for the reset and here we create a object called display in which we are uh, passing some parameters like screen width screen height and oled uh, reset parameter and after that here we create another object called gps and here we define the uh, gps serial uh, which is used as i2c and also the pin for uart communication that is 16 pin of esp32 and 17 pin of esp32 uh, then here we define button pin for the uh, switch button which is connected on the pin number 32 and after that here i define a variable boolean type variable last button state which store the last state of the button pressed uh, by default it is high it will become low uh, further in the code and these two variables are responsible for the debouncing of the switch here i created a, a data type a structure data type in which we store two variable name and offset minute which is used later in the code uh, here i have created a array of the structure data type in which we are storing uh, ist that is the short form of the time zone and this offset uh, time uh, this offset time is in minute uh, you can add any time zone or remove from this list uh, 
uh, if you want any other time zone just you need to add the short form of this and the offset time uh, offset time means for example in uh, indian standard time which is uh, ahead of the utc time that is 5 hours and 30 minutes if you convert this 5 hour 30 minutes into minutes it will become 330 minutes so first convert this offset hour and minute into minute and enter here so if the offset time is uh, ahead of the utc then you need to add in as a plus sign no need to add plus sign just add as it is and if the offset time is behind the utc then you need to add with minus sign uh, for example in this eastern standard time which is behind the utc uh, that is five hour behind the utc then first we need to convert into minute that is five hour converted into minute will become 300 and enter like this est minus 300 so in this way you can add any uh, time zone and, and also if you want to remove just uh, remove this line and yeah this will easily you can delete the any time zone and if you want to add any other time zone just uh, add like this here short form and the offset time and here we define another variable that is tz index which is used for time zone index uh, which we are using for the indexing the different time zone uh, this variable is used later in the code and after that this uh, function which is used for checking if the year is uh, leap year or not so this function gives if there is any particular year is leap year or not and in this function uh, we are giving the total days of the month uh, for example in january uh, there is total 31 days but in february if there is a leap year then the total days will be 29 days otherwise it will 28 days so we are giving all the days in different month but for February we are checking if the if the month is second month or and the, if there is a leap year or not. If there is leap year, then we are returning with 29. So by using this function, we can accurately measure the days in the particular month. Uh, now come to the setup function. Uh, in the setup function, uh, first we synchronize the serial communication with the uh, serial monitor with the border 115200. And we start the serial communication with the GPS module at the border drop 9600. And here we define the pin mode for the switch uh, that is input pull up. And after that, here we slice the uh, display OLED display. And we are calling a function so welcome. Here this function is defined so welcome in which we are printing techno live electronic GPS clock with time zone. Uh, this message will print every time when we boot our system. And after that in the loop section, here we are continuously checking if there is a button is pressed or not. If button is pressed, then we are switching between the different time zones. And here we are storing the last button state. And after that, here we are continuously checking if there is any serial data available from the GPS module or not. If there is any serial data is available from GPS module, then we are decoding that data. And here we are checking for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, if there is any no data is available from the GPS module, then we are calling this function that is so no GPS detected. Let me show you this function. Here this function no GPS detected. In this function, we are printing on the serial monitor as well as on the display that GPS not detected check wiring and power. Uh, this function is called whenever our GPS module is not connected with the power or not properly wired. So this message will print on that time. And after that, if our GPS module is powered and correctly wired but not connected with the satellite, then this function is called that is so searching in which let me show you so searching here this function is in which we are printing on the display as well as on the serial monitor that searching satellites and here uh, we are printing how many satellites are currently connected and if our gps module is correctly connected and get connected with the satellite then here we are storing the uh, value that is our minute in utc uh, the gps module only gives data in utc not in local time zone so first we are storing all the data that is our minute second day month year in the utc then after that we are converting all the data in local time zones by retrieving from this utc year to this local year we are retrieving all the data in local time zones then we are calling this function that is add minute to utc date time and we are passing all this data that is local year local month local day local hour and local minute uh, this function is in this function we are converting all different time zones from getting data from the utc so we are here calculating by doing some basic math we can get the local time zones value and after getting all the data we are printing on the display first we are making the font size as 2 
here we are printing in the bold character so first we are printing the local hour local minute and local second on the top of the display and after that we are changing the font size to one uh, in small uh, letters in which we are printing the different time zones that is in the right corner we are printing the name of the time zone either it is EST, BST, NFT or EST and after that we are printing the date current date in the below of the time and after that here we are printing the UTC time with the number of the satellite connected so you can also check the uh, UTC date and time along with the local date and time and after that we are also printing how many satellites are currently connected with the, our GPS module and here we are refreshing our display with 200 milliseconds so after every 200 milliseconds our display will be refreshed so that's all about the explanation of this code now select the right board that is ESP32 dev module and also select the right communication port which is COM port and after that click on upload button to upload the code uh, now connect the GPS module that is GP02 module to the ESP32 and OLED display to the ESP32 as per this connection diagram. Uh, you will get the circuit diagram and the code in the description. Just click and download the code and uh, connection diagram. Uh, here as you can see our satellite based inversal clock is ready and in the display you can see the time in the bold character then date then time in the UTC and then the number of satellite from which our GP02 module is connected and also we can switch between the time zones by pressing this button as you can see this is NPT that is Nepal time zone BST Bangladesh time zone JST Japan time zone and this EST that is European standard time and Indian standard time uh, you can add as many as a time zone in the code that you want to display in this OLED display so I have added few time zones, you can add as many as want. So that's how we built a satellite based GPS clock using ESP32, GP02 module and OLED display. Uh, the GPS module that is GP02 module give us exact UTC time straight from the satellite and then we convert it into local time zones and display everything neatly on the OLED display uh, along with the date, UTC reference and number of satellites which are currently connected. And the best part of this clock is that we don't require any kind of internet, Wi-Fi or any separate RTC module. We will get accurate, reliable data from satellite anywhere in the world. So we can use this project anywhere in this world, any corner of this world. Uh, in my project videos, I will make some improvement in this project. Like we can automatically shift from different time zones according to the coordinate. Uh, for example, you are in the Europe, the time zone will automatically shift to the European time zone. And if you are in India, then the time zone will be automatically shifted to the Indian standard time by detecting the coordinate of the Indian uh, country. So I can make different improvement in this project that is in our satellite based clock uh, I can make this project so advanced so that you can use this project in your real life so there is a scope of lots of upgrade in this project so if you found this video useful and you learned something new please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and also please share this video with your friends and if you have any question or queries you can ask me in the comment section below and also you can contact me via my whatsapp you will get my whatsapp number and email id in your screen so thank you so much for watching this video we will meet in the next one till then bye bye have a nice day